that's amazing that's incredible the batter lovely and crispy on the outside and the fish is delicate and soft in the middle good morning today i'm at the site of an iconic fish and chip shop in Geisley in Leeds. Now this place used to be a site for the original Harry Ramsden fish and chip shop, which is a famous name across Yorkshire. Unfortunately, the Harry Ramsden closed, but it was taken over by another fish and chip shop chain called the Weatherby Whaler, and they've renovated the building, opened it back up again, started serving fish and chips. So today, I'm gonna be checking out to see how good the food is. So let's go in, check it out and get some fish and chips. Okay, so I now have the food, and I didn't just go for fish and chips this time, because every time I go and get fish and chips, I see other people getting things like sausage and chips. So I thought I'd try that out to see what it's like. And that got me looking at other parts of the menu to see what else they do, because at different fish and chip shops, they do different types of extra things. So I think I've seen black pudding at some before, and even fried Spam. So for here, I've gone with a battered sausage, and I went for a scallop as well. And they come in at £1.25 for the battered sausage and 75p for the scallop. For the fish and chips, it's £7.80. And I think that's a really good price for a big fish and chip shop like this to do at £7.80. That's really good. I got some extra sauces as well. So I've got mushy peas at £1.20, some curry sauce at £1.20 and some homemade tartar sauce for 70p. And all that came to £12.90, which is a great price. So let's dig into the food. Right, so I've bought my own knife and fork again, so let's dig in. I'm going to go for the sausage and scallop first. Okay, so here is the battered sausage. I just got a small one here because I don't think I've had one of these before. I think I've got fish and chips every time, so let's try this out and see what it tastes like. Mmm. So that is delicious. That's really good. The batter is so crispy on here, and I think it's probably the same batter that they use for the fish. So if this is to go, anything to go by, the fish is going to be delicious as well. Get a nice meatiness from the sausage there, and I think it's the same kind that you would get in a full English breakfast. But imagine that battered with fish and chips batter. This is delicious. Let's go in for another bite. Mmm. Now let's try this with some of the sauces. Let's go with the curry sauce first. It does look a little bit runny. I've had thicker ones before, but let's try it and see how it tastes. So there's a nice curry flavor, a little bit of a spice kick there. Nice and delicious. Let's dip the battered sausage in and see what that's like. Mmm, that goes together really well. You get the saltiness and the meatiness from the sausage and then the spicy sweet curry sauce. It's delicious together. Right, next up is the scallop and I think it's a potato scallop and this thing is massive. I mean, just look at the size of this. This is like a whole slice of a potato that's been fried in the batter. Let's have a taste of it. Mm. Okay, yep, yeah, so that's pretty much how I described it. So it's a massive slice of potato with the fish and chips batter, deep fried, crispy, it's lovely and delicious. Yeah, the crispy batter again and a nice potato flavour in the middle. Mm. So let's try a bit of it dipped in the curry sauce. Mmm. Okay, so I think that was my first time trying a battered sausage and scallop, and I think that's a success. They were both delicious and great starters. 
So let's move on to the main course, the fish and chips. Right, this smells incredible and it looks delicious too. Let's go for a chip first. Here it goes. Mm. Delicious and soft and potatoey on the inside and a little bit of a crunch on the outside as well. Mm. And I have to say you do get a pretty big portion of chips as well. There's quite a lot here. Right, let's dip some of these chips in the sauces and start off with the mushy peas. Right, I think this might be the greenest mushy peas I've ever seen. Let's go for a taste of it. So there's a nice pea flavour to it and it's a little bit sweet as well. I think I've always said that I'm not that big a fan of mushy peas, but I think I'm growing to like it. I quite like mushy peas now. I think it might be because when you're a bit younger as a kid, you don't like sort of vegetables. So I think that's why I don't like it, but they taste all right now. Let's dip a chip into it. Mm. So I think the flavour of the peas really goes well with the chips here. Let's try it with the curry sauce and let's dip it in. Mm. That's really delicious as well. So the taste of the curry sauce here is really nice and delicious. But I think it is just a little bit lighter than some of the other places that I've had before. But it's still great nevertheless. Right, let's try some of this tartar sauce. Mm. So that is delicious again. So it's nice and tangy, creamy. There's a little bit of a sour taste to it. A little bit of sweetness. Really nice. All right, I think it's time for the main event. Let's try the fish. We've got the big bit of the fish and the crispy batter. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, mm. that's amazing, that's incredible. The batter, lovely and crispy on the outside, and the fish is delicate and soft in the middle. The batter is not too thin, and it's not too thick either. I think it's in the middle just right. All right, let's go for another big bite before we try out the sauces with it as well. Mmm. The batter is so crunchy, it's delicious. Okay, so fish with mushy peas. Here it goes. Mm. And that goes together really well. Let's try it with the curry sauce. Here it goes. Mm. I think it works slightly better with the curry sauce because it is a little bit lighter so it doesn't overpower the flavour of the fish. It combines really well. And finally, let's try it with the tartar sauce. Mm. Delicious. Okay, so my favourite is the curry sauce. So let's make the perfect bite. So I've got the fish, the chips and the batter. Let's pour some curry sauce right over it. I'm going for a taste. Mm. Mm. Right, so that was some great fish and chips there. The batter on the fish was crispy and lovely. The fish on the inside was soft, succulent and flaky. The chips as well were nice and potatoey and the crispiness on the outside of the chip was great as well. And they combined brilliantly. The battered sausage and the scallop they were great too. I've never really had those before, but they are worth a try if you're getting fish and chips because they were delicious. I never got to try the old Harry Ramsden fish and chip shop, but if this is anything to go by, it's still a great fish and chip shop. I'm not sure if any Harry Ramsden still exist or where they are, but I might have to try them if I can find one. But this place is definitely worth a try if you're nearby. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up icon below I'm going to be doing more food videos coming up, so if you want to come on for the journey, click on the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.